Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 27 in chapter 6. In this one, we can see this is a moon, and we have the shuttle space. A uh, move in circle at zero, at the circle, which is at a distance edge above the surface of the moon, right? And this edge is given 120 km. And also, the radius of the moon is given. Ask you to find the period for this uh, shuttle space. So for this one, when we consider the period, the period is the time taking for one complete circle. So that means we, the, so the one complete circle for this one is 2 pi r, no problem. So it looks like we need to find the velocity, do you agree? Yes. So we find velocity so we can find the period. This is our strategy. So first thing we look at is circular motion. The radius must include two parts, the radius for the moon and the distance above the surface. Do you agree? So this one we have the Rm plus h, and both of them are given. The next one, because we want to find the speed for this circular motion, so we can consider this central force comes from the gravitational force. Do you agree? G, capital M, small m, r squared. Yeah, this is. And must equal to mass times acceleration. This is the central acceleration, so v squared divided by r. And then we can simplify this equation, and we get the velocity in this uh, equation, right? And also, we, because the problem asks you to find the period, as we know, period is just uh, the time taking for one complete circle. So it might, so the velocity for this uh, circular motion must be because of one circle, the distance it covered is 2 pi r, then divided by time taking, t, period. So this is velocity. In this way, you can see we can find the velocity in these two equations, and then we can just put them together. We get the equation look like this one. Do you agree? And then we can just convert this equation. We find the period t in this term. And in this term, you can see 2 pi is constant. Gm also constant. The only thing you don't know is r, and r is given there. In this one, so you can input the quantities inside. You find the final answer is around two hours. Thank you.